My life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy FBI Math back with another YouTube video for you guys. I know it's been a minute since the last one. I've just been kind of doing some uh, thinking and just kind of just just like gone you know what i'm saying so i'm just trying to come up with like really good ideas for the youtube channel period um so that being said today's workout is considered around building the bench press i feel like i've kind of molded myself into i won't say like a bench specialist um but you know for my body weight and the amount that i can lift i am pretty knowledgeable when it comes to bench pressing now today we're going to talk about three exercises that I think are very beneficial when it comes to having a big bench. If you guys are plateauing in your bench press, these are exercises you should definitely be doing, or it's not even exercises, it's just like things, little small enhancements that you can do to your exercises that will increase your bench. Now, first off, you wanna get a big bench, what do you have to do? Bench press, there's nothing around it, you can't do exercises outside of bench press alone in order to get your bench up so it starts with bench press and the thing we're going to do uh, uh, for this is i'm going i've told you in the past that you know the pyramid scheme is a very good set for building strength and increasing muscle mass but we want to solely focus on strength right now and i want to talk about cluster sets now with cluster sets you pretty much have a very short amount of rest time um, you pick a weight around the 80 percent mark and you're taking breaks like about 15 seconds in between five reps so when i hit my first rep you know i'm resting for 15 seconds but we're going to start out with a warm-up that i use as a pyramid so you know my 135 my 225 315 and then i get to my 80 percent which is around uh 400 405 and i'm going to that's it's going to be one set and the thing about it is, is i think a lot of you do too much um especially when it comes to strength like when i was making my most strength gains i wasn't doing extra volume work on the bench press or deadlift or anything. I pretty much did my compound movement and called it a day. I probably did two more exercises after that. So three exercises in a workout and called it a day. And especially you younger guys, I know a lot of you are just out there in the gym trying to get as much reps as possible. And like you really, there's a time and place for all of that. But at the same time, like you just want to get your protein synthesis. You just want to break it down and for that protein synthesis to kick in. And then you can just cut it out right then and there. Because I feel like the more you do, I mean, it's not I feel like, I think it's, it's, it's facts. The more you do, it's not going to benefit you. Heck, you can, you can even hinder your growth, your muscle, your strength when you do too much. So... Try to start out a little lighter sometimes. When I, when I mean lighter, it's about like less exercises, not too crazy, and like you don't have to do six, eight different exercises every single workout. I don't think that's um, very, no, it's, it's not necessary. So we're gonna start with the bench press cluster set. We're gonna get to four or five, which is me. I'm gonna get to four or five, which is my 80% max uh, as of right now. And I'm gonna do uh, one rep, come up, Take a break for 15 seconds, drop back down, one rep again, 15 seconds, all the way up to about four or five sets. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna really test, it's almost like you're doing a build up max out because after every one rep, you go back, even 15 seconds is not gonna seem like enough rest to get that you know next rep. So the more time goes on, you get to that fourth to fifth set, that four or five is gonna feel like a one rep max. And we're trying to like mimic that feeling, all right? So there, therefore, we're building some strength in this um, in this exercise. And I don't think a lot of people use this method. Um, it's something that I've done here and there. And it's usually when I when I don't feel, especially when I'm when 405 is feeling like really heavy, and I don't feel like hitting, because I can hit 405 for like you know on average day, two, three, four reps, right? But 
it's different when you take that short break, go back into it again, take that short break, go back into it again, because you're not, you're not using that band effect and that intensity in those moments. So therefore the weight feels heavier every time you go back to it. And this is something that I've done to help me get used to strength, um, strength training again. And I'm pretty sure this was one of the things that I did to get past 500 pounds um, back last year. So definitely add this into your arsenal of strength training. But before that, I wanna talk about, I mean, before that, I want to talk about in my reps um, beforehand, you probably saw that I was doing a little bit of a uh, eccentric controlled tempo motion. And a lot of things that involve um, just building, just building so many muscle fibers and really focusing on the power and strength you need for bench is pretty much developed in that eccentric phase. So let's say, you know, most most athlete players of, of football, basketball, whatever you are, it's just all about reps. You know, a lot of people don't uh, focus on that slow down and then press. It's just boom, boom, because we're trying to focus on uh, explosiveness and conditioning when we're working out. Now, if you can take that down a little bit and let's say do, you know, a one, two, three second eccentric into a power push, three second eccentric into a power push, you're gonna pass the, the, that plateau you have because your body's not used to that. Your body just wants to drop that weight and press it back up. So you're slightly making this little difference into your exercises that will help you develop strength in the long run because it's different. You know, a lot of us just get our bodies don't see changes because we get too used to certain temp to a, a certain tempo in our exercises that we do, everything's the same, one down, one up, or or like one zero one instead of like a, a one, you know, one or two second hold. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a tricep, you know, just, I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what it is, okay? And um, when you play around with tempo, take your time with things, slow in control, and then a powerful press, those things will definitely help. Even you can, you can even do a tempoed, um, uh, eccentric into a tempoed a concentric and that's going to even further help build the, the power through those blocks especially if i'm pressing up like if i'm just controlling it really pressing up your body's having to work more through each through each um length of your extension to your arms right so if you're constantly doing that your body's just developing strength in different layers there's this thing called a it's just called a medusa i used years ago or you see people use blocks that have blocks on their chest where they're just working different paths of range of motion and that's what that pretty much does for your chest is you're working different ranges of motion more in a um in a time manner so that's something else which is the which is the second thing that is uh needed to increase the strength of your chest and the third most of all thing I think people still slack on is the, you know, seated shoulder press, you know, seated barbell shoulder press, um, dumbbells is good, but I feel like barbell, if you, I feel like if you have a legit strong overhead press, you're going to be able to pretty much at least get, say, let's say a quarter, you should be able to do like a quarter more, you know? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do 25% of that more of the um, of your overhead press. And um, once again, you know, add these things into your exercise, into your workout routines. Um, again, they'll be definitely they'll definitely be beneficial for you guys. If you're not doing them now, or if you are doing them now, just try to play around with with eccentric, concentric tempo, um, do the cluster sets. You can even do a cluster set. For, you can do a cluster set for a deadlift, bench, squat, um, overhead press, your compound movements. And I'm pretty sure these things will help you build strength. So that being said, grab your don't touch tees. You'll definitely hit a PR in these bad boys. I'm, 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 I'm probably, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get that 10% strength increase buff you need all right so that's on the alpha clothing website so at alphaclothing.com not not com but alphaclothing.co so definitely check that out and then i'll catch you guys on the next youtube video video dude i'm so off today video speak english Tehran. follow my twitch channel at twitch.tv slash fb aftermath come through to my gaming live stream if you love gaming if you like 
listening to me. I don't like listening to me, but you can like listening to me. And uh, we just have a good time. So catch you guys later. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact.